Good morning everyone. Today we are going to do our next poem. The name of the poem is Govinda's Disciple. You know students what is the meaning of disciple? Disciple is a student. You know nowadays the students are coming to schools and getting education and in old times the students they are to go to the ashrams for getting education and they used to live with their acharyas or uh, the teachers nowadays we say so at that time they are to stay with them for the whole time and get the education so in this poem govinda is the name of the teacher and govinda's disciple it is about a student of govinda what he does let's start for far below flowed the ganga quick and clear above frown the jutting bank hill stark with the woods and scarred with the torrents were gathered around this is about the place where govinda was sitting there is the river ganga is flowing it's very clear and it, the water is flowing very quickly and there are big high, big hills also high mountains also and everything is there very beautiful place is this so let see what happened next govinda the great teacher sat on the rock reading script scriptures govinda who was the teacher he was sitting on a rock and he was reading the scriptures reading the books when raghunath his disciple what is the name of disciple raghunath when raghunath his disciple proud of his wealth came and bowed to him and said raghunath was his disciple and he was rich he was proud of his wealth that he has so much wealth so he came there he came to his teacher to give some wealth but what happened next when raghunath came with his wealth i have brought poor wealth unworthy of thy acceptance this these words raghunath is saying to his teacher he said that i have brought some wealth for you but i know that this is not worthy this is not respectable or acceptable for you i know that you will not accept it but still i brought it but what was in the mind of raghunath that now i will say these words and after some time uh, the teacher will be pleased with the with the wealth so the saying he displayed before the teacher a pair of gold bangles st studded with costly gems and emeralds after saying this raghunath gave a pair of gold bangles to the teachers and the bangles they were studded with gems and emeralds with precious uh, diamonds gold gems the master took up one of them twirling it round his finger and the stones darted shafts of light suddenly it slipped from his hand and rolled down the bank on the water into the water what happened as raghunath gave the bangles to the uh, govinda to the to his teacher what the teacher did he took the bangles in his finger and making starting scrolling them into the in his finger and after some time that bangle fell into the water into the river raghunath jumped into the water the teacher set his eyes upon his book and he and the water held and hid what it stole and he ran its way as raghunath he saw that the bengal fell into the water raghunath jumped into the water with that and what the teacher did the teacher started reading his books again but after some time as when raghunath came out of the water he asked the teacher to show him the place where he it uh, where he throw or the where the bengal put into the water then again the teacher what the teacher said what the teachers did he took another bangle keep in his finger and in the same way 
he threw that also into the water and said here it is means on the place where the first bangle fell into the water in the same way when raghunath asked the asked his teacher where the bangle fell into the water i will go and i will bring that at the same time the teacher took another bangle and threw that also into the water and told raguna that this is the place where he threw it so students in this poem what have you learned that gold or wealth or precious gems they don't have any value in our life in place of education means education knowledge vocation uh, knowledge about our scriptures about vedas puranas and how we are to spend life means knowledge of spending a very good life is more worthy than the goal so in this poem the teacher also uh, taught his disciple that wealth is not precious than education okay i hope you have understood thank you